G'day and welcome to episode 83. In the last episode, we left our creekside camp spot in the mountains and headed south to the vineyards of Kahedi before finding another camp spot by the river. In this episode, we start our journey westward. just arrived. Um, drive was absolutely beautiful. There were so many fortresses along the way. And how good is that view? Best spot. It's going to be so good for the sunrise tomorrow. So yeah, I think we'll go over and check it out tomorrow morning. Um, apparently you should spend like about two or three hours there. So yeah, I'm going to set up now. Look. So we've just arrived, paid for our tickets, which was um, about seven Australian dollars each. And we also got a audio guide, which was another seven. Um, you can pay for these little mini, 
minivan shuttle bus things behind Sounds us. Sounds like you're puffed already. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking 15 steps. Yeah. Maybe the bus would yeah. have been better iffy. <laughs> no, I need the exercise, I think. <laughs> anyway, so we're just walking up here now. So up until the 1200s, all of these caves were more like caves. Um, the front wasn't as exposed, but there was an earthquake which um, basically just destroyed the whole facade of the cliff and it, it all crumbled away. And there used to be corridors, which were basically like the streets of the city connecting them. But um, yeah, that was all destroyed. So now um, all of these houses are quite open. It's incredible to think that they carved these out. It was built as a fortified city in the 12th century. Um, it ranges in different levels from only single to two up to um, 13 storeys in some areas. And it was built by King Tamar. And Tamar was uh, a Georgian king. She was a Georgian king. Um, and this is actually her room we're standing in now. It's accessed by, there's a kind of a staircase tunnel which goes down to the back there. Um, and it was actually quite an advanced city at the, at the time. It had um, apparently about 50,000 people who lived here. And um, all the, the vineyards down on the bottom here, had a monastery in the middle, had an aqueduct which ran along the face from a, a, um, and a reservoir at the top which could feed, uh, they say, up to 160,000 litres of water a day, which is just incredible. Um, but they had like reservoirs built into this and special uh, secret tunnels and the likes to, um, to keep it safe from attack and it is unfortunate that at one stage there was ransacked by the Persians and taken over and all the and since or well, after that um, the, it was abandoned and um, occupied by herders and the like so a lot of the timber work which was in here and, and the, the doors and, and the furniture have all been used for firewood by them which is unfortunate but it's still incredible structure um, and apart from the earthquake in the 12th, late 12th century. It's um, stayed in reasonably good condition. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Did you just get that on the belt? <laughs> Watch your head. It's because got such a big head. Um, I think we're just going to drive for like two hours, maybe three, find a valley for us to camp in. Hopefully there'll be like a nice, nice river or something, nice little grassy area. Any requests? Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, a few forts to look at. There's forts yeah. everywhere here. That's why I just pulled over. There's something across the road. I'll figure it out. Yeah, there's like these steps that go up here. Yeah, there's a fort on top of it, but I can't see what's going on. Anyway, so we're just going to drive back down this beautiful valley, um, enjoy the scenery, and yeah, that's us Once for the away, afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. this fort yesterday um, so we're just obviously driving past again now and we thought let's just stop and go and have a look um, it's 10 gel each to get in which is about um, like four dollars or something like that excited yeah <laughs> it's pretty impressive it's like really well intact still well intact, well intact. <laughs> pretty intact <laughs> Thank you. 
These valleys were once important trading routes for the different empires over the centuries, which is why the valleys are littered with defensive forts. This fort is Kovitsi Fortress and is actually one of the oldest forts in Georgia. Over the centuries, the fort has been ransacked and rebuilt numerous times by invading armies, with the oldest part of the current fort dating back to the 10th century. The fort is built on a rocky ridge at the confluence of two rivers, the Paravani and the Mukvari. The fort consists of an elongated castle and a restored outer wall. Inside the castle is a five-sided watchtower, a square keep, the 10th century St George Church and the remains of a tunnel leading from the castle all the way down to the river below. There's like this creek that runs all the way through this um, farmland, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's just like this valley that we went through a village and then it just sort of opened up into this beautiful green fields. Lots of green fields. Yep. So many camp spots here. Um, there's actually a thermal bath a little bit further down, but there was um, a heap of local swimming in it. So maybe we'll have a little dip tomorrow morning on our way out. Yeah, this is where we're, this is where we're at for the night. Pretty good. Nice view of the mountains. Nice new strong buckles, they've been rusted a bit because they shouldn't sit in storage for too long but they're stronger than the old ones. Oh, there's a stick up here. Oh, is that what was rattling? That's it for this episode. Catch the next one where we head to one of the highest villages on the continent. Thanks for watching. See ya!